Hello and welcome back to Operation Aftermath. This is Mr. Sput. I'm playing the German player and we are here in turn... Let's see, turn 10. Uh, January 1941. Um, apologies for the uh, lack of videos for the last few days here. Uh, I've been on vacation seeing my wife's family, so... Um, yeah, that's where I've been, so... Sorry about uh, not uh, being around to record, but I'm back now, so hopefully we can keep cranking these turns out. We've been doing phenomenal on how fast we've been cranking stuff out. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to uh, my tech. Uh, we've got four tech rolls. We have improved factories. We have airborne doctrine. We have jets we have long-range aircraft so all of these are on three this one has a plus one improved factories does so we need to get a six or better on improved factories to complete the tech that's a 11 fan tastic that completes that for the Germans which is great uh, we've got airborne doctrine this one does not have a modifier on it we need a seven or better that is a seven. That is also fantastic. And we've got jets. We need an eight or better, of course. Let's uh, throw that there. See if we can't get that next round. Plus one on that. And long range aircraft, we need an eight or better. That is an eight. So I really want to jets. But I'll take three out of four techs every day of the week. So, <laughs> um, that's going to affect my... I had purchased based on the fact that I was going to be getting um, jets. But I have another tech buy laid out in my mind. So, um, we'll go ahead and delete these. We can't get them anymore. And add $24. So, 24 we're going to be getting a, a heavy air transport. And I guess these are elite now. Um, and I'll have to update the whole board to say elite airborne because that's all the German airborne on the map are now elite. Um, that's what the tech says. So that's six there. And you count up to 20. Four, so and then we're gonna be buying some more advanced mix. So I don't know what I'm doing. That's twelve plus six is twenty. Um, and then four more dollars, we'll get two more militia. All right. So, all right, we have a saved. $57, so we're going to buy two more airborne for six. Oops. Let's do it this way, 57, I believe, yeah, okay. So two airborne for six. We have a German air heavy air transport, which I just looked was, s oh, it's 10. I was looking at the movement. Um, do I need this? Probably not. We're going to buy a fighter instead. And we'll have to recount this here in a minute. Um, so, two airborne, a fighter for 10 is going to be 41. Sorry, I'm affecting my buys. I'm taking a lot of time on this. Um, two Panzer Grenadiers, two advanced, and five advanced mechs. Uh, oh, these are not the right kind. Obviously, but I'm going to buy the advanced kind. One, uh, five times four is 20, eight. So we were at, all right, <laughs> we're gonna restart here. So we have $20 here, uh, 30, 38, 40, 49, for these three, an infantry and two lead airborne. So 49, that leaves me with 
enough for three militia. Or so. Okay, we're gonna count this up one more time here, just to make sure I get it right. So four times five is twenty. Plus ten is thirty. Thirty-eight. Forty. Forty-six. Forty-nine. Thirty, forty, six, nine, forty nine, forty nine, uh, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, and one more militia. All right, we're going to count this one more time here. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, plus ten is forty five, plus one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ah, uh, this is what I'm buying. Whether or not it's right or not, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Dang it. 57 minus 8 is minus, minus 10. This is 10. So 57. I apologize, everyone. I think I'm off. So 20, 30, 40, 8, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. All right, that's $57 spending every penny. Apologies, it is almost 1 a.m. here, and I've been gone for a few days. So uh, that was really bad, guys. Sorry about that. That took way too long. Um, on to the main event, I guess. Um, so uh, I am declaring war on the Soviet Union. Um, that is going to bump him up $6 to there, and then we're going to add this in to the amount, which is 47. So he's at $47, which is more than me, which is not great. Uh, but I believe that Finland aligns right away. So we are going to add one to Germany. And we are even. Steven. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some combat movements. I have reached out to uh, the Soviet player and uh, asked him if he'd like to scramble out of Leningrad. Um, and he has not gotten back to me because, as I said, it's almost 1 a.m. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume he's not going to... Um, and go from there. Um, I'm coming in with all this against all this. Uh, he might he might scramble. Oh, I didn't declare I was bringing in planes too. Uh, what were these subs? That's my bad. All right, we're gonna do this. We're going in here against these ships. Uh, there's a light cruiser, two destroyers, and two subs there. Down here, that was the only scramble option. Um, and then down here, we have a torpedo boat destroyer and a destroyer from Romania, plus my planes from Romania. They've got I've got two fighters and a tactical joining this battle down here. Um... And then if he wants to scramble, we will reroll this and see what happens. Um, but it's probably a bad idea for me, but I can always retreat. So uh, then other combats, we are going to send one Panzer Grenadier, one, two, into southern Belarus, uh, blitzing through there. And then I wasn't sure. Um, I'm sending... So everything on this card, um, except for the infantry. Oh, 
there's three infantry there. Uh, whatever. Except for the infantry are going to end up here in western Ukraine. Um, I'm not sure if I can pair one of these advanced mechs, or I guess they're just regular mechs, with one of the medium armor going into East Poland and then through into Western Ukraine or not. I think I can, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I'm just going to assume that they can because uh, I'm going to send one this other Panzer Grenadier 1 2 uh, in there as well. So I know at least one of them will be able to make it uh, because it'll pair with that Panzer Grenadier, um, I guess. The only other thing that's not going, I guess there's a few things that aren't going. Sorry. Those are the things that can't make it there, and then these are not going either. All right, so I'm, all my land units, uh, including the CAV, which the CAV, instead of going through East Poland, has to go through Bessarabia. It can go 1 2 into Western Ukraine. Uh, the motorized is only going to move one, and so is this artillery into East Poland from Warsaw. Um, and then out of Bessarabia, we're sending this stack of infantry into Western Ukraine, as well as these two infantry. Uh, actually, everything in Bessarabia is going to head in to Western Ukraine. Um, and then the transports planes are going to pick up the airborne, and they are going to drop one into southern Ukraine and one into Tarita. And these are elite airborne now. So we're going to drop those off um, in there. Um, and then I believe, oh, um, this is a non-combat movement, but, you know, okay. Um, and that, I believe, was my only combat movement that I had. Oh, no, I don't, that's not my only combat movement. Um, ADC planes trying to kill me. No, okay, we're going to raid here in A48. We'll go ahead and raid here again in A21 with both subs. Um, and then over here, we will go ahead and we'll see what's on this card. I always forget to check before I start. There is a seaplane there. Uh, this sub is going to move down. Seaplane there. There's no seaplane hangar. Um, it's going to move down one, two, to that zone, I believe. Uh, yeah, one, two, yeah. Okay, it's going to move down into P60 and raid the Anzacs there. Apologies. Um, oh, and then I have a seaplane here. It is at a seaplane hangar. One, two, three. So I believe seaplanes can move three. So it's going to move one, two, three, and try and kill this British sub that's been raiding me this whole game. Um, so that's great. Um, yeah. That is all my combat movements. So let's get to rolling. We'll start with my my uh, convoy raiding. So we've got the British are yellow, or the Anzacs are yellow, and the Germans are black. They did not finish. They finished radar, but they didn't finish anti-sub. So. They did go up another spot. Ooh, I really hope this is up to date. I should have checked before my turn. I just kind of assumed. Um, 
five star head. Um, updated, but uh, it's too late for that now. So uh, here's the Anzac raid. Uh, it's even, uh, but there is a ship within two seasons of Anzac so, or Australia, so uh, it will uh, lose its bonus for this round. Uh, we've got the British up here in A48. It's an even roll, nothing. And then we've got these two. Let's see if we can't take... Oh, that's not the right button. So there is uh, three damage and uh, hmm. was I thinking that he was plus two on me? Oh, there's two more damage. So uh, that's five total damage that we will take to this line, I guess, because why not? One, two. Three, four, five, which takes five off of the British. I don't think these are right. Okay, on to the rest of the nonsense. Apologies, guys. So these just fall as do does oh shoot uh, Lubelski and southern Belarusia and I guess uh, East Poland and Western Ukraine also just fall so he goes down come on Ugh. Uh, he goes down one, oh my gosh, two, one, two, three, four, four dollars. I go up four dollars. Um, so we'll take the Soviets down four. One, two, three, four. Germans go up four. One, two, three, four. Um, oh shoot, this cavalry was going to move two up into eastern Poland um, as well. Sorry about that. Uh, the transport planes will land back in central Romania. I guess I have this combat up here. So we've got a battleship. I'll just take this down there. If he wants planes on this, he can have some planes on this. And subs. Divided into the three. I have a destroyer in there. Destroyer, destroyer. Cruiser, battleship, coastal defense ship is a four, as well as the destroyer and the torpedo destroyers. Okay. So we've got two at two, two at four, three at four, and one at eight versus one at five. Two at four. And two at three. All right. So we've got, he has no first strikes because uh, my destroyers are present, I believe. But he'll still get, uh, or is that not how that works in this game? I might be mixing up axis and allies. We'll shoot them. All right, two subs just in case. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, uh, two torpedo boat destroyers at four. One hit. 
I've got uh, two more hits. So that's three total hits and the battleship at an eight. That's th one, two, three, four. You know what? We're going to just roll this out like he did scramble his fighters and see what happens. <laughs> And I'm not going to post this until after he answers me. And he'll answer to see. So I got one, two, three, four. So I don't know if he wants to lose subs or not. I'd assume he, if he scrambles, he will. If he doesn't, he won't. Um, so we're just going to... We'll just assume he does take takes as many casualties as possible just so that... Um, if when he rolls to defend here, this could be the end. Uh, so there's the two at four for the destroyers, one at five for the uh, light cruiser. Okay, there's one hit, and then two at six for his fighters. So three total hits. I'll lose the tor two torpedo boat destroyers and one regular destroyer. And I'm going to assume he loses his two subs. One, two, one, two, three, four hits. So, and then the two destroyers. So, and then we'll just keep going. And then if he decides he doesn't want to scramble, um, then uh, we will end it. Uh, the, then the combat would be over these. I would only take one hit, which would be on a torpedo boat destroyer. But if he wants to continue going, we will continue going. So two at four, nothing, one at eight. That's one hit, so the light cruiser's dead. One at five hits, two at six. One more hit, so we'll ding the battleship and lose the coastal defense ship. So we've got one at f so then his light cruiser would be dead. So we've got one at four, one at six. So two more hits and that's it. So two fighters at six. And so in this case, everything dies. Um, if he doesn't want that to happen, then I only lose one torpedo boat destroyer, and he loses uh, his whole fleet, or just uh, the two destroyers and light cruiser. All right. That went, that went fairly well. Uh, we will. I, I will not be posting this until I hear back uh, to see if he would like to scramble or not. So... Um, on to non-combats, we are going to go ahead and pick up this infantry, um, and then one advanced, um, well, let's see what else is on this card here. It's all my planes, okay. Uh, this infantry here is going to be loading up to under the transport and the advanced mech as well. We're going to move up to A14 and offload them into Helsinki. And yes, I know about this coastal artillery. I'm not doing an amphibious assault on Leningrad, so it does not partake in the battle. Um, and so, uh, and then that is that. Um, if he were to scramble his planes, I will be moving one fighter from Western Germany into. Helsinki. If he doesn't scramble his planes, I will not do that. Um, oh, I forgot about this combat. Uh, I need 1d12. Sorry I didn't wait for him to respond, but I figured I'd been making you guys wait long enough uh, for me to get my turn out, so I just wanted to get it done. All right, I got one seaplane at three against his uh, the British sub. Okay, it uh, survives, so it'll go land back down in western Germany. Uh, um, 
so this save file will have the fact that uh, he did scramble and want to lose his subs. All right, so I have moved all this already. We're going to move all of my infantry from... Oh, I forgot about this other sea battle. Apologies. All right. We'll go ahead and just drag this down there as well. I didn't ask if he wanted to lose his coastal sub. I'd assume he doesn't, but... Because I have a lot better odds in this battle. So he's got one at six, one at four, and one at two. Let's transport. All right. So and then I've got two at six, one at seven, and the two, uh, one at two, one at four. All right. Apologies, guys. All right. So, um, in case it gets first strike, nope. Okay. Uh, the torpedo boat destroyer at two. The destroyer at four. One hit. Uh, two at six. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, one at seven. So two hits, one is target select. I'll obviously target select the heavy cruiser. And then if he wants to lose his coastal sub, he can. It's already fired. We got the destroyer at a four, no. And then the heavy cruiser at a six, that's a one. I'll lose the torpedo boat destroyer. And then all he's got left is the destroyer, but in in this scenario, if he doesn't want to lose his coastal sub, um, it'll be over, and I will only have lost the torpedo boat destroyer. So here's all my shots back. Again, one hit, two hits, so destroyer, nothing. So his navy dies, and I have a destroyer left in that sea zone. Again, apologies, guys. I just really didn't want to make you guys wait any longer. So, all right. So his fleet down here in the uh, the Black Sea, I'm not sure, uh, is gone with one German destroyer sitting in M11. Yep, the Black Sea. All right. Other non-combats. Uh, this advanced mech in eastern Germany is going to move to Warsaw. Um, we're going to move an advanced mech and a Panzer Grenadier from west Germany. Uh, we're going to rail them to Paris. Um, we're going to leave those there. It's fine. Mm. We're gonna move uh oh so I, I moved the advanced mech and the infantry from these land zones into Helsinki. And that's basically it. My all my planes from the Black Sea Battle are back in Bucharest or uh, Romania. Oh, and then these two infantry in Bulgaria are going to move into central Romania. And that should about do her. Um, yep, that's my turn. So we're going to place units and collect income. So we've got all this. And we have improved factories, right? factories. All right. So we've got two elite airborne are going to go into central Romania. The fighter is going to go into western Germany. If this uh, 
if he doesn't scramble his planes, this fighter in Helsinki that I moved there is going to uh, instead go to Paris. Um, it'll go. It'll fly from Western Germany to Paris instead of from uh, West Germany to Helsinki. Um, okay. So the fighter went into Western Germany. We've got all this stuff. So we've got a bunch of advanced mechs and Panzer Grenadiers. So one Panzer Grenadier and one advanced mech are going to go into Eastern Germany. The Panzer Grenadier, other Panzer Grenadier and advanced mech are going to go into Western Germany. Um, as well as uh, two advanced mechs going into, actually, one advanced mech and one Panzer Grenadier are going to go into Warsaw. Two, three advanced mechs are going to go into Eastern. Sorry, keep messing everything up. We've got, looks like, five militia, <laughs> since I counted them about ten times. So we've got one going into Central Romania, one going into Warsaw, one going into Helsinki, one going into, how many does Paris have? Two already, one into Paris, and then we will throw one into Bessarabia. All right. And then we've got an infantry. It'll go into Paris. All right. That is my turn. Apologies for the absolute disaster of a turn. Okay, I'm going to do a quick recap. Um, so ships first. We've got two subs, uh, an A-21, one sub in A... 48, one sub in P60, uh, three subs in Western Germany sub base, and a transport in A14. If he does not scramble, um, I would have, I'd have to go back and look, I'll go back and look after this uh, turn and uh, send out exactly what's going on. Um, actually, as soon as he responds uh, to me, whether or not he scrambles or what, um, we will. I will figure out what is here uh, for the C zone. And then for this C zone, down here in M11, we have one destroyer. Then for the bulk of my forces, I have in every French territory except Paris, one militia. Um, in Paris, I have three militia and artillery, one, two, three, four, five infantry, two fighters, Panzer Grenadier, an advanced mech, and two light armor. In Bavaria, I have a militia. In Belgium, I have a militia. In Denmark, I have a militia. In Western Germany, I have three fighters, a seaplane, Oh, shoot. I hope you guys don't mind. I was going to move my strategic bomber and medium bomber down to um, central Romania. Apologies. They're easy to forget up here on this card when I ha put all my, the rest of my units in the actual um, spot itself. Um... So in, in Western Germany, I have three fighters, a seaplane, two cavalry, an airborne, and a lead airborne. A militia, uh, two advanced mechs, two panzer grenadiers. In Berlin, I have two militia and an AA. In Eastern Germany, I have three advanced mechs and a militia. In Warsaw, I have a Panzer Grenadier and two advanced mechs, two infantry, a mountain infantry, and a militia. 
in southern Belarus, I have a single panda grenadier. In east Poland, I have uh, one motorized, one artillery, and one cavalry. In Bessarabia, I have three infantry and militia. In southern Ukraine, I have an elite airborne. In Tarida, I have an elite airborne. In central Romania, I have a strat bomber, a medium bomber, two fighters, a tactical bomber, two transport planes, one militia, two infantry, and two elite airborne. In western Ukraine, I have the following. Let's figure this out here. Three, four, five, six, seven infantry, one cavalry, a panzer grenadier, an advanced mech, four mechanized infantry, and six medium armor. And I believe that's everything. Apologies again for taking so long and then not being prepared for my turn um, ahead of time. Um, I will send out an updated uh, unit comp uh, composition once I hear back from, uh, I'm blanking on his name right now, the Soviet player. Um, but yeah. Oh, I collect income as well. I need to collect. Uh, the Molotov Ribbentrop pack is dead. Um, and then, uh, so I still get these. So I'm 51 plus 6 is 57 for next turn. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here next time.